Alright, so what's going on everybody? It's Sliced, he's back in here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to benchmark your games and what I'm going to be using to benchmark my games besides the in-game benchmark system, which you can use on some games if they have it. But um, on this, I'm just going to be showing you Fraps. It's a fantastic way. It's completely free unless you want to get the full version. But it's uh, you, I don't see why you need it. So all you do is go to Fraps. If I can type fraps.com, and there you go. That's this website right here. You'll start on home, just go over to download, and we're gonna download the setup. It's only it's 2.5 megabytes to share. Then we no longer need Chrome. We that's the thing I'm gonna be benchmarking with watch. Uh, I agree. Just click next, do just let's keep it going. You shouldn't need to change this install location. Complete it and close. Now we have fraps right here. Now we're just going to open it up. And let's open up fraps. Alright, so it finally opened up and it didn't take that long. But what I'm going to be doing now is we are going to go over. You can leave everything here. Like, fine. We're going to go to FPS. And you're gonna want to just click all these depending on what you want. If you don't want frame times, don't click it. Whatever you want. Um, and then there's a stop benchmark after so 60 seconds or however many seconds you want to set that to. That's up to you. If you don't click that, it's gonna stop either whenever you press the benchmark and hotkey again, or whenever you uh, close the game. It's just gonna stop that. I'm gonna and you can change the corner of the overlay here. Uh, I can my it's um. Yeah, I can show you this. It's in OBS right now. Actually, I'm not gonna. Uh, fuck. You can change the corner of the overlay here, and it just obviously changes what corner of the overlay, or you can hide it so it doesn't show up at all. The overlay you can disable with F12 and the benchmark key F11. So all we're gonna do is run Overwatch here. I tried to choose a game that wasn't gonna be too intensive. I am gonna be starting to post benchmarking videos on my channel. All right, so we're back into the practice range. You can see the FPS counter up in the top right there. I can press F11, it'll start the benchmark, and the fraps counter, as you can see up there, turned to green, so it notifies me. Uh, we can just press F11 again, and it just spit out 115. I'm not sure what that means. I might've been my frame rate then. But now, I'm gonna, I'll cut, and we can go see what it's gonna output to us. All right, guys, so wherever you install it at, you're just gonna go to there. And then in the Fraps directory itself, you're going to go to Benchmarks, and this is where it's at. This is the uh, Overwatch. This is the frame times. This is the, what is this? This is the min-max average. And we can go look at that. It's going to be in Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, I guess. Might just be in the Fraps log here. Um. Yeah, I don't, we need all this stuff then. Just look at that. I don't really care about the spreadsheet. Yeah, in here, you can see everything that you um, got. The average for me was 115, the minimum of 72, and the max of 155. And that's how you can benchmark your games. So I'm going to get out of here before this Excel opens and slows everything down. So yeah.